Hi everyone, the name is Eric Dor and this is just a brief video where I want to talk about three situations in my life where I gave in to my own fears and where I avoided situations that I shouldn't have avoided. Now, I can be the first to admit that as an INFJ I've had issues with being conflict avoidant and with underestimating my own strengths and being afraid of my own powers. And the first situation I want to bring to your attention was uh, there was a time when I was being considered for being a spokesperson for the Green Youth. So at the time in my life, I was very politically involved. And there was a time where I was very much a champion traveling across the country, talking about sustainability and yeah, issues that were important to me at that time. And as it came up, there was an opening for a new spokesperson. But I said no. I said no basically immediately. And why did I say no? Because I thought, no, I'm too weak. I'm not strong enough. I'm not capable of this. I don't know anything about this. I'm not educated enough. I'm not good enough at this position. Now, obviously, you can be fair and you can be honest in rating your own abilities. and You can make a healthy judgment about your powers and your abilities at the time. However, I was not being objective about myself and I was underrating my own talents and abilities in favor of other people. I assumed that I was worse than everyone else in the runner-up when in reality if I look back at the situation perhaps I was the right fit and now I will never know and I'm left with that regret what happened what would have happened if I would have been more confident in myself and if I would have believed in my strength and in my ability. The other thing that came up was what was it I needed then in order to run for that position. If I wanted to do that or if I thought I could make a difference doing that, what was it I would have needed to become successful in that? I think INFJs are people that can blind themselves to what they need to become talented and successful. And what that means is as an INFJ, you might deny yourself the ability to improve and develop and work on yourself. So you might have needed to take up a leadership course or to go and talk to people and to talk to the current leadership and you might have needed to take some read some books and you might have needed to write some uh, uh, plans for yourself and set some goals for yourself and go through it objectively and that would, might have helped you be more objective about the situation uh, if you feel you're not strong enough for something why should you not do it why should you not go out and learn and improve yourself so you can become strong enough for it? The second situation in my life, uh, the second time I gave in to my fears was, uh, well, and this happened many times, I think I denied myself the opportunity for relationships or I left relationships or I resorted to sheep door slams or I ran away when things got difficult in a relationship, when there was conflict or discord, I often thought I wouldn't have the power to talk it out with the other person and to have a conversation with the other person honestly about what, what was it that went wrong and what can we do from here and what can we, how can we grow from this situation. And I just ran away. I just thought, no, I messed up so bad and I did such a mistake and I was so stupid that it's just irresolvable. And uh, so I gave up on good friendships and good connections because I wasn't prepared to face the heat and I thought I couldn't handle the heat. What I've come to learn later on in life is I can handle the heat and conflict is not as bad as I think and I can survive it and I am stronger than what I think in a conflict and I can be stronger in myself than what I assumed. The third time where I gave in to my fears was when it came down to moving to the Netherlands and uh, this was mom momentary, like <laughs> momentary. I said no the first time I was offered the chance to move to the Netherlands. I gave up and I thought, no, it's not going to work out. I'm not going to be able to work there. It's not going to work out to me. My projects are not going to take off. It's going to mess up and it's going to be go for go down the drain. And uh, the good thing here in this situation was uh, my girlfriend. The great thing about my girlfriend in that situation was she was able to walk me through the fears I was facing and she was able to say, so what? So when I talked to my girlfriend, it came down to, yeah, let's break up. Let's not do it. It's not going to work out. I'm not going to be able to handle it. It's and uh, that was the harsh conversation we had. But 
that conversation, that very phone call, it took a dramatic turn because uh, at the end of that call, she was like, so, but you still love me, right? You still care for me. You still think I'm important, right? And like, yeah. Well, then we should still do it. <laughs> that was her opinion about it. Yeah, well, if, uh, you, yeah, I don't care about the fact that you're doubting yourself or that you feel uh, afraid or that you struggle. If you care for me and if you love me, then we still need to do it. <laughs> and that's how it was. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah, you're right about that. And so we did end up doing it. And I did end up moving to Amsterdam. And now I've been here for two years and I have not regretted a single minute of that decision. And I am so happy that she made me realize that even if I feel weak or even if I doubt myself, I can still do something and I can still go through with the situation. So I don't have to give up and I don't have to uh, fail and I don't have to let go or uh, avoid a situation just because I feel weak. I can still go through the situation even though I feel weak. And I'm gonna come out on the other end of it. It's not like making decisions is going to get you killed. <laughs> uh, most decisions you are facing in your life are not life and death situations. They are simply challenging situations. And yeah, you're going to come out on the end of it no matter if you were weak or no matter if you were cowardly or no matter what you were in that situation, you're gonna come out on the other end of it. So yeah, that was my three worst mistakes, or uh, the, set, the third one, I guess, didn't end up becoming a mistake. It ended up becoming something very good. Uh, my question for you is, what have been your three biggest regrets in your life? And uh, what would you have done differently now that you know and now that you can think back to those situations? And what can you do in the future to avoid these situations, those fears, from taking over again? Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you all in the